Good morning, students. It's your iLab specialist. Today's project is how to make your very own graduation cap. For this project, I used two sheets of black 12 by 12 inch paper, tape, glue, scissors, a piece of string, a pencil, a clothespin to hold things together, and a pair of scissors. Before we get started, I want to introduce you to my friend Bobby Bones. I'm going to be using him today for a head model to determine the size of the cap that I need to make. You'll use the piece of string and wrap it across the head where the cap would fall. I actually ended up taping mine to Bobby just to make it easier for me, but you don't have to do that. After setting the string aside, you'll take one of the 12 by 12 sheets of paper, fold it in half, and then each side to the center. That way you'll have four equal strips. Once you've folded them, then you'll cut each of the strips that'll be used for two different parts of the project. Two of the pieces are going to be what you use to make the band around your head. You'll line them up and place the string on top to make sure that they're long enough to go all the way around your head. Tape the two pieces together and wrap them around your head to make sure they fit. Thanks for your help, Bobby. Next, we're gonna make little lines to be able to cut and fold and attach them to the top part of the hat. So you'll measure about an inch, make little marks on the same side, notice they don't go very far in, and you'll slit each of those with your scissors. Then you'll fold all the little tabs forward. Once you've folded all those tabs and made sure they're creased nicely, you're going to reform the hat part that goes around your head and glue it. Use your clothespin to hold it together. Set that aside and let it dry. Next, you'll take your other sheet of black paper and make a nine inch square. You'll mark it and then you'll cut it. This will be used for the top part of your graduation cap. By the time you've cut your square, the rim should be dry and settled. So you'll take some glue and put it onto the tabs that you've created and actually put it on top of the square, making sure it's pretty secure. Now it'll take a little while for the glue to dry, so I'm using tape as a clamp to hold it in place where I would like it to stay. Once that's secure, I'm going to set it aside and it's time to now make my tassel. Use one of the pieces that you originally cut and down the side cut long thin strips. It might take a minute to cut all the pieces, but once you have them, what you'll do is you'll collect them up nicely and you'll fold them in half. Using the piece of string that you originally used to measure the size of the head, you'll tie the strips together at that half fold mark. Once the strips are tied and secure, you can use the extra tails to wrap around the tassel. Make sure you tie them tightly, leaving enough space at the top for a loop that a pencil could fit through. Next, slide a pencil through all of the loops of the tassel so you can easily thread a piece of string through it. That'll be the piece of string that you use to attach it to the top of the hat. After taping the tassel to the hat, use a piece of your black scrap paper in the shape of a square and glue it on top of the tape just to make it look a little cleaner. Now that your hat's complete, all that's left is to decorate it and wear it. Bobby Bones looks pretty comfortable wearing his graduation cap and I hope you do as well. Now it's your turn. Follow the steps in this video and congratulations on your graduation.